Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you so, so much for always joining. My name is Daria Sauzechi, and I'm here to share your father's word. You know not my word, but your father's word. I was going to pray according to how the Spirit leads, just in two minutes, every single day. May God bless you as you listen. So I'm going to share the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 6, and as long as our Father leads us, two minutes. And it says, At the mouth of two witnesses, or three witnesses, shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. Hmm. But at the mouth of one witness, it shall not be put to death. There's power in union. There's power in coming together. There's power in gathering. That's why there's power in when one person say one and another person second it. There's so much power in it. Like you can even put someone to death. But once one person is saying it, you are free. Verse 7 says, The hands of the witness shall be first upon him to put him to death. And afterwards, the hands of all the people. So, Thou shalt put evil away from among you. You are the one that has asked us to be the one to cast the stone. Jesus said it in the, verse, in the New Testament. And verse 8 says, If there arise a matter too hard for thee in judgment, between blood and blood, and between the play and play, and between stroke and stroke, be matters of controversy within thy gates, then thou shalt arise and get thee up into the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. And that shall come to the prince, the Levites, and unto the judge that shall be in those days, and inquire, and they shall see the, the, the sentence of judgment. Because God is going to always deal with the Levites. So go to them always. Like go to the counselors with restriction, don't fall victim. That's why the Bible says you should know him for himself. When you know the God, your Lord, yourself, no one can deceive you. No matter if they are perfect or not, they won't deceive you. Because you have this direct access to your father because of Jesus Christ. God bless you so, so much for always listening, watching, learning of your father, knowing how he acts, knowing how he will act in certain situations. It's just a familiarity, and that is how we can get uh, more out of him, by knowing him more. God bless you so, so much. You have a lovely life. Share, subscribe, let the word of God go out there, because you share it. God bless you.